friends welcome to online drip tutor i am sanjay in this video we'll see one more interesting concept of laravel and that is all about stub which means what is stub and how to use it for customization so first thing first what is stub inside laravel so inside laravel stub are the helper modules which enables the process of customization of default generated classes next we'll see the whole concept inside this video we have one more request please subscribe to this channel so that we can create such type of amazing videos amazing content free for you back to editor so as we had discussed what is stub so stubs are the helper modules of laravel by the help of that it enables the process of customization of default generated classes which means that for example if we are using a command that is php addition make controller so once we use make controller command it generates a controller class let's do in action back to project terminal go here php addition make controller and let's call it as site controller so by the help of make controller we are creating site controller so once we create it will go inside app http controllers folder so let's go and press enter controller class created if i go here now we can see inside controllers folder here we have site controller class now we can see that inside the site controller class here we have a default skeleton but in some cases if we want let's say some customization that we want instead of the single line comment also we want a index method so here we are talking all about the customization before creating this controller class so here comes the concept of stub so stub are the helper modules of laravel which enables the process of customization of default generated classes so here inside this project we are not seeing any folder with the name called stubs so inside artisan command list we have a command called stub publish so once we use that command automatically we get one more folder inside this project setup with the name called stubs and inside that folder we get all about the skeleton files so let's first use and publish those files back to project terminal if i type php artisan plus enter now you can see at the bottom of this command list here we have a stub group look at the command stub colon publish so publish all stubs that are available for customization so what we can do here let's publish first php artisan if i type stub colon publish press enter stub published back to project folder go and reload now you can see that here we have a folder with the name called stubs now in this folder we can see we have lots of files with the extension .stub so here we were talking about all about controller class settings so apart from this skeleton class we want one more method instead of the single line comment we want a index method so this is only a plain controller class so we need to go inside this stubs folder search for controller so here we have the controllers what we can create by using optional parameters so inside these controllers here we have controller.plane.stub here we can see that here we have namespace this is all about placeholder for namespace it means where we are creating our controller classes again here we have the second placeholder for root namespace and third all about the class name so these placeholders will be automatically replaced when we use command called php artisan make controller now after controller once we pass the argument that is class name automatically this placeholder will be value will be replaced now we want that index method instead of the single line comment so i will go inside this stub file means controller.plane.stub which means that whenever we create a normal controller class this skeleton will go and execute and create a normal controller class file so here instead of single line comment i will add a index method so public function index let's add single line comment inside this method block so save this file back to terminal let's create a controller class php artisan make controller and let's call it as 
product controller press enter controller created if i go here let's go inside app http controllers and here we can see product controller remember we have done all about this stuff customization so hopefully inside this product controller file we'll see this index method let's open that now you can see that this is all about default skeleton of this controller class but instead of single line comment this time we are getting an index method and this is only possible because here we have used all about the concept of this stub customization. So this customization concept is not only available for controllers even we can find all about the stub files. Look at here all about factories, events and also we can see many more controller files like for the restful wave apis controller also for the resource controller now here we have event factory here we have malleable classes here we have migrations middlewares even we can see the model stub so let's create a model class and see that how to do stub customization for model classes so i will create a model class with the name called stock so first let's say php i will generate a normal model class so php artisan make model and let's call it as stock press enter model created if i go here let's go inside app models and here we have stock.php so this is all about the default skeleton now we want let's see some extra properties inside this model class simple we need to go inside our stuff file of model so go inside the stuffs folder search for model.stub and here it is let's open we can see that this is the default skeleton of stuff file now after use factory here let's say public timestamps equals to I will put a value called false and also let's say public fillable and I will pass an empty array. So here successfully we have optimized or let's say customize this model stuff file which means that whenever we create any model class files for this application this skeleton will be used. Go here. Now I will create one more model class artisan make model and let's call it as product press enter model created if i go inside our models folder product.php now we can see after this use has factory now we have two other variables called timestamps and fillable so this is all about the concept of stub customization which means that this is a handler which enables all the process of customization for default generated artisan class files. But while working with this stub customization, be careful because these are the default skeleton by the help of that we generate our classes and also communicates with the application. If any flow will broke here then automatically application will crash or it lose some classes data now let's say that at some point i have done some major mistakes while doing a stub customization inside these files so i have decided to remove all these cases all these files means almost a stub directory from the setup so how can we do that so as simple as that if we have decided to remove this stubs folder and one more thing if you remove this stubs folder from this application then all the customizations what we had done automatically gets removed so if i go here as we know that we had done some customization inside this control means controller file as well as inside this model stuff file but i have decided to remove all these customizations i want to use the default skeleton of classes so in that case i will go inside the setup and simple go here delete that complete folder and once we delete let's go here and create one more controller class so php artisan make controller and i will call it's a device controller now this time instead of using our customized stuff file because it does not exist automatically it will pick the default stuff file press enter controller created if i go here let's reload go inside app 
SDP controllers and here we have device controller which is speaking all about our main stuff file. So successfully this is all about the concept of and these files are deleted now. So this is all about the concept of a stub. So first if anyone asks that what is stub, so the answer will be inside Laravel stubs are the helper modules which enables the process of customization of default generated classes. And the next question is that where we use this concept. So as simple as that. In some cases, if we want some extra methods, some extra properties, some more memory variables inside our classes, so at that situation, we can do our stub customization. So please like this video, share this video as much as you can, subscribe to this channel. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.